Good afternoon, it's uh, Jeff at Budrum here and uh, in the garden and Wilma's here on the camera to help me and um, this afternoon I'm just going to show you what I've done here. I've planted some uh, rainbow chard and some broccoli. Uh, what I've done is I've planted them out. Now this is the patch where we harvested the ginger and you might recall I had a mass of earthworms there where I buried some organic material a couple of months earlier. And where you've got earthworms, you've got worm castings and worm castings is just pure fertiliser. So I've uh, planted them about just over a foot apart um, and I've put blood and bone around them. Uh, not too close to the plants. I'm just going to give them a dress, just cut them up with a bit of sugarcane mulch here. I think I might have enough in this bag to do the lot. Uh, the flies are attracted by the blood and bone, as you can see. But, uh, I planted a broccoli, a six broccoli over here to the right and only one of them survived and there's one little one there, the bugs got into them. But you can see over here, if you saw my other video, that row of potatoes there was only just out of the ground on that video where I buried the scraps. And you can see they're the ones, they're the potatoes I healed up. You can see the different foliage, they're a different variety of potatoes. I think these ones are the Kiflers and the ones over there are the Sebagos and in this little patch here um, now I've got something to show you here with the potatoes now uh, they're the ones I healed up on the same day as well but you can see there's about three or four different varieties in this patch here um, now there's something I want to point out I just found it while we were talking a 28 spot ladybird now most of the ladybirds in the garden are, uh, are friends but these are the enemy to uh, vegetable growers. They attack the foliage. As you can see the leaf is just about stripped uh, where he's been grazing. Uh, they're the 28 spot ladybird and uh, we just squash them. As soon as we find them we squash them. So, um, so that's something to look forward to when you're growing potatoes, tomatoes and eggplant. Look for those 28 spot ladybirds and squash them as soon as you find them. So um, now I'm just going to do this later on. So we're going to come over to the other patch, our other potato patch, and dig some and uh, dig some potatoes. Uh, so, so this is the patch that we planted out on the 15th of March, and uh, I, I dug a few and uh, pan fried them last week. I just forget what day we, up we uploaded it, but I'm just going to dig a few more. And we're going to make some uh, potato and sweet corn soup. So we're going to we're going to uh, video that and upload that as well. So we've got uh, we're going to get enough to make a nice pot of soup. As we, I think, we're what's what's today's date? Well, it'll be about the 23rd or 25th, 25th of May. So we've got about another few days, and we go into winter. So uh, soup is, is just what we want in this colder weather. So there's not too many spuds in this lot. Uh, only one in that one. No, no, there's another one. So uh, uh, I still believe that there's nothing better than a freshly dug potato. And uh, there's another one there. I think we put. I was a bit ambitious putting these in a bit early in the season, but it doesn't matter. We're still getting a feed out of them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Wilma likes potatoes too, don't you, Wilma? Yeah. Uh, we both like potatoes, so we agree fresh on that. Ones. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's for that day's few. I'll let the others get a bit more advanced. So, that's that for that one. Uh, yeah, there's one, one little one. Got one over there, so. I'll get, uh, I'll dig one more plant. I've got one, up, one over here to plant. That'll be the last of these white ones. And, uh, the rest of these are those kiplers. Uh, 
Now, careful as a more of your starchy potatoes. Uh, not, not starchy, waxy rather. So they're, they're ideal for potato salad and that sort of thing. So that's it. That's it for that lot. Yeah. And that's another one. Oh, there's a few there. Now we we'll just wash all these and before we go inside. Okay, now just washing these potatoes is just tip before we go inside. To make the soup. So it's going to be straight out of the garden and straight into the soup. Now that one's got something wrong with it. Let's see, let's cut that out. That's the beauty of the uh, Thick in your rain, you're sort of not using any sprays or chemicals. Uh, you have to get sometimes you've got to use them pretty quick. So, uh, nothing better. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll make that potato and sweet corn soup and put it on another a separate um, video. Okay, okay, so we'll close off now and say. Uh, all the best and thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. All the best. Bye.